Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back finally to the idiots of the internet. So I think it's no surprise to people who know me, the foundation of my career is sort of built on people being morons. And today we're finally revisiting some people because they've gotten away with it long enough. Also, one thing I want to point out is that there's a Reddit thread called Bone Apple Tea. And if you're an OG fan, you know why I'm referencing Bone Apple Tea. There's 1.2 million members on this fucking Reddit thread and I feel like I had something to do with that. All right, anyway, let's jump right into it. Huge genital horse, 750, what the fuck? $750 for a horse with a small dick is a deal. <laughs> with a huge dick is fucking definitely a deal. If this is still up, I'm buying it. You will smile when you get rid of this sweat glutting. Everybody always comments on his genitalness and they love him. Who the fuck wrote this thing? He is a gledding? What is a gledding? He is a gledding, so no worries about pregnancy. What the fuck does that mean? He really licks when kids hour on him. Ew! This big dick horse is licking your children? What the fuck is going on? Gelding or gelding, which is a male horse that's been castrated. Okay. And he means gentle, not genital. Oh my god, he means gentle horse. I'm thinking this is a huge dick horse. And he's over here just being like, that horse is nice. He licks our kids' faces or whatever. <laughs> I just want to meet a female that can hold an intellectual conversation with me. I don't think the smart ones are going to go for you, my man. You're as dumb as rocks. This is such a great snapshot of like dudes nowadays yeah. that are like, I need a woman who's smart, makes a lot of money, sucks a cock, stays home. And like, doesn't fuck it. It's like all these things. Doesn't have Instagram. Doesn't wear a bikini. And then he's an actual fucking idiot. You know, like he's expecting all these things, but you're a moron. You know what I mean? Like I've seen that too many times. So this guy, give me an intellectual woman. That's all I want. Not these only fan models. I want fucking intellectual women. <laughs> like, okay, but is it a la carte? Hmm? I'll tell you this right now. Uh, if there was a halal cart called a la carte, I would be fucking first in line for that shit. It's a la carte, you cement head. Um, I have more of an issue with cement head. I don't really know how that's a fucking diss in any sort of way. Uh, I, I, I don't think this one is too bad, to be honest with you, a la carte. I mean, it sounds delicious. It's up there for one of my favorite dishes. So if any, uh, you know, any, uh, you know, Muslim guys out there, they are thinking about starting a food truck business, a la carte is right there in front of you. Billion dollar idea. Do it. Tell me, I'll be there. If your boyfriend died and his family ain't put you in his obit you worried, <laughs> would you be mad? <laughs> That's an interesting way to spell obituary, but it's it's totally fine. Also, what is an obituary? I thought that's the, when you just, oh no, that's a eulogy. What is an obituary? I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's like in a newspaper. It'll oh, it'll say like, this is a good it's guy. Like okay, yeah. It's like a Wikipedia of the dead person. It's like, you know, this is their height and weight and they were nice and they worked at this place and whatever. A bitch you worried is not, is a horrible attempt. Like, you know, you're not, that's not right. You know, that's not correct. A bitch you worried. Of course that's not right. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Deadass spent two hours doing project on youth in Asia, and then- <laughs> That's an amazing one! Youth in Asia, like euthanasia, is when you like just fucking kill a person because they're like, please set me down. But youth in Asia, that is hilarious. Also, that is such a strange picture for youth in Asia, like, it, like the youth in Asia, you know what I mean? Like now we're talking about the children in Asia. Do they all- I don't think they all have that haircut from what, I, from what I've seen. That's a very- unique haircut, I think. I don't want to speak out of line here. Last day in pair of dice. <laughs> just a pair of dice. It's the last day in a pair of dice, okay? Which is just die, which you should do because you can't spell. Die. <laughs> also, that doesn't even look that great, to be <laughs> honest. If that's paradise, fucking send me to hell, dude. These premium Snapchat thoughts complaining about being audited. Bitch, you committing tax evasion. Shit's illegal. What is that? Oh, tax evasion. <laughs> Bitch, you committing tax of Asian. What does this person even think that is? It's like, you know we all gotta like pay Asians. <laughs> you, know? like, you can't have a bunch of income and not give a part of that to some Asians. You know what I mean? It's tax of Asian. Oh, if you tax Asian people, that's against the law. Maybe that's what it means. Shit's legal, bro. You can't be out here just taxing Asians. Honestly, we probably shouldn't tax Asians because don't we owe like trillions of dollars to China or some shit? <laughs> like maybe we should be like, bro, you guys are good on the fucking tax. Maybe this guy is onto something. Maybe that's what he meant. Shoplifters will be prostituted. No exceptions. Fire. This is probably a good way to get people to stop robbing all those Walgreens. But like, yo, if we catch you, we're going to turn you into a prostitute. Okay. <laughs> if you steal a banana from my deli, I will make you work the corner day and night for little pay. 
<laughs> okay. Hey, do you have any Parm a Sean cheese? <laughs> Farmer John cheese? <laughs> Parma John! My god, it just got worse and worse. Parma Sean is like how I imagine it's written in the dictionary. Like you sound it out, Parma Sean. Even though that's wrong, that's not even how you say it. Farmer John cheese is <laughs> an insane way to think that's spelled. Farma John, now you're fucking with us. Okay, now you're fucking with us. What'd you get to eat last night? Shrimps camping. <laughs> Shrimps camping. Yeah, that's an insanely wrong. I'm actually picturing the waiter coming over and be like, what would you like? And you're like, shrimps camping? And the waiter just going, uh, what? What the fuck are you talking about? I'd like the shrimps to gather around a campfire and sing show tunes with each other. I'd like to have that for dinner. Alright, before we move forward, we do have uh, some sponsors for today. The first one being Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance app that is ultimately going to put money back in your pocket, okay? And how are they going to do that? They're going to find and cancel unwanted subscriptions. They're going to help you budget, and they could help lower your monthly bills, okay? And uh, it's not just me saying this. On average, people are saving $720 a year uh, on Rocket Money, okay? So if you want that money back in your pocket, I suggest you sign up, all right? Uh, and listen, no one is is above this. We all have signed up for free trials back in the day or like we were like, all right, I'm going to start using this app and you pay for it. And you've been paying for it for the last half of the year and you haven't even used it. So uh, like I said, Rocket Money is going to go on. Uh, you're going to go on Rocket Money and then you're going to identify these things and be like, I could be saving that $12 every single month. And maybe there's a couple of things that you're paying for and that money adds up at the end of the year, okay? So put money back in your pocket with Rocket Money, all right? You can go to rocketmoney.com slash Joe right now. Now, uh, to sign up and you can also uh, you know unlock a lot of premium features all right so go to rocketmoney.com slash Joe right now and use it all right put that money back in your pocket cancel your unwanted subscriptions with rocket money rocketmoney.com slash Joe uh, go now. We also have SeatGeek, and SeatGeek is where I buy all of my uh, tickets to any sort of concerts or uh, a sporting event. If I'm going to the Ranger game, I'm going to the Nick game or whatever, I'm going to a Broadway play, I'm going to SeatGeek to get my tickets, okay? Uh, I love their interface. They show you when you're getting, when you're paying like a good amount for a ticket or a bad amount, all right? So some people, they like to upcharge, and that'll just show up as a dark red circle um, when you're looking at the tickets in the stadium. You probably want to stay away from those because, you know, they're just asking a lot there. Um, but if you see a dark green, that means you're paying a, a really good price for that ticket for where it is in, in the stadium. Uh, it's great. So uh, that's why I love it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things to do right now. It's, it's honestly kind of starting to warm up. And this is the time to get out there in the world. Uh, I know some people, you know, during the winter, they like to stay inside and just do that. But get outside, buy some tickets, go to a concert, go to a game, go do something. All right, monster truck rally. I don't know what you're into. Uh, but you can go uh, download the SeatGeek app and use the code Joe, and you will get $20 off of your first purchase, okay? Going to hook you up. So if it's your first purchase, use that code Joe. You will save $20 with the SeatGeek app, all right? So go download it, use the code and enjoy. Wanna go out for dinner? Yeah, sure, where though? Seafood maybe? But the doctor has advised me not to eat any type of crushed Asians. We're back to Asians, <laughs> dude. This is a very Asian video, it's kind of insane. What do you mean, like crabs and stuff? Yeah, crustaceans, I think is what they're trying to say, not crushed Asians. Does this dude think he's going out to the restaurant and they're like, oh, this is a nice little Filipino boy all crushed up <laughs> and shoved into a shrimp hat casing? I don't even, like, what do you think is going on? Orgasmic blueberries, $1.25? What a fucking absolute steal. Eat a blueberry, have an orgasm for $1.25? You can only get that kind of deal in fucking Amsterdam, dude. Good luck, my little sis. It on woods and up woods now. Love you and speak to you later on. What the fuck does this even mean? Good luck, my little sis. It's on onwards and upwards. Oh my God. It's on woods and up wood now. <laughs> Hopefully this guy's little sis uh, graduated from college. Clearly he didn't, you know, and she's probably the first in her family. Uh, and hopefully she gets home and she tries to teach him some words. Because uh, on woods and up wood? I don't know about that, chief. What's worse than a heartbreak? 911, bitch. I don't know how to spell it, but it's that shit where the planes flew into them towers. <laughs> Honestly, fair, dude. I think that he's correct. I think that spelling is interesting, especially because it's just numbers. You know, it's free fucking numbers. It's very easy. So for you to be 911 is just like, you should be in jail. Send me newts. 
<laughs> no, like a sexy pic. <laughs> That's an incredible way to respond to that. Send me newts. <laughs> he sends her a fucking newt, dude. I forgot those were even animals that existed in the world. I used to be obsessed with them for some reason. That and salamanders. But then I heard that if a salamander, it, like it could be poisonous if you touch it or some shit. So I stayed away from them for my entire adult life because of that. I don't even know if it's true, but it's kind of crazy also that we have a sexy picture of a newt just out there spread eagle like who's ready to nail me. And like, I don't know why that exists in the world, but God bless. What the fucking hell? Why is bear skin condoms a thing? Why would you want a condom made out of bear skin? <laughs> Isn't that motherfucking animal cruelty? <laughs> Dude, to be fair, I think there was a point in my life, I mean, I was probably 13, but I was probably like, what? Because there's also, isn't there like goat skin condoms? Am I making lamb, lamb skin? A lamb and a goat are the same to me. Bear skin condoms. It's just like hairy, dude. <laughs> it's like you put it on your dick, it's just hairy, <laughs> like a bear. Lamb skin, though. I didn't like. I wonder if it just feels the same. And does it work the same? You know what I'm saying? Like as far as like the efficacy, like that. You're super I'm so intellectual, dog. <laughs> Hi, bone jaw. <laughs> what? Bone jaw, are you dumb? It's French for hello, dumbass. Bonjour has turned into, that's the uh, the American way to say that is bone jaw. I love the doubling and tripling down. Like, no, you're fucking, it's bone jaw, dude. Why is the guy so angry? What the fuck? It's French for hello. It ain't. Ah, my parents are probably gonna buy flaming young in a cake. What the fuck is flaming young? Please don't tell me you mean flaming young. Uh, I'll be honest with you. When I was younger, I thought it was flaming yawn. Like, and I was like, it's flaming because they like sear it and it's yawn because I don't know. I didn't know what a filet is, nor like mignon, min whatever that is. <laughs> what is that? Why are we calling it a different thing? What is mignon? It's a small tender piece of beef. We just found out that mignon or however you pronounce it, <laughs> filet mignon in French means cute. So it's like a cute little filet because it's a little piece of steak that you pay $400 for and you fucking, then you go broke. Native Americans need to move back to India. What? All of it is wrong, dude. All of that is wrong. Incorrect. False. F minus. You know what's really funny? There are still people in this country that call Native Americans Indians. So wrong. And it's hilarious because when I was younger and in school, in the textbooks, they would call them Indians. And they are in Indians. And we've known that for I don't know how long, but we still call them Indians. Classic America. They're Native Americans or First Nations or something under God, invisible, <laughs> with liberty and justice for all. I don't know what it's called, but we took their land and we gave them a casino. Not a fair trade. We should definitely, there should be something else that they should get for sure. And I did my part because I went to the casino recently and, and they, I definitely donated a good amount of money to, <laughs> to somebody. This person needs to go to hell though. What school you went to? Why? You look four meal your? I look what? I said you look four meal your. Oh, familiar. Oh my God. I don't know what motherfucker you look like. I know you, damn. I love that these people like get angry when people don't understand their stupid way of saying shit. This is the product of teachers just being like, all right, sound it out, <laughs> right? And they just took that and ran with it for the rest of their life. Four meal your. Yes, you should get vaccines. And so what if it makes your kid artistic? That don't, don't always mean he's gay. First of all, it's autistic. That's what people are worried about. Kids being autistic because of vaccines and being autistic or artistic she's right in that it doesn't mean your kid's gay that that's very true okay just because he could draw charizard really well doesn't mean he's gay okay in my experience it means he's asian there's this kid his name is richard he came to our school didn't speak a word of english this kid could draw like no other and he had straight a's and i can't understand how he was able to do it one time this is not really funny but our friend got hit by a car and he saw it happen and he i was trying to have a conversation with him this is in fifth grade and i was like and he, cause he was telling us like, oh, I saw it happen or whatever, but he has broken English. So he couldn't really tell. So he fucking drew the entire thing of like how this kid got hit by a car. Rest in peace. He created this wonderful piece of art of our friend getting killed. Oh, he died? He died. And that's how we're going to end the video. Shout out to Richard, man. Frankie knows him. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, Idiots of the Internet is officially back. I appreciate you guys, you know, supporting this video and watching it. Like I said, this is like the foundation of my career, basically, okay? This is the first video of mine that ever went viral, um, and then I made 400 of them, because I was like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.